So, update on our aquaponic system. We now have some of the barrels in place. We have them resting on the totes on the metal bars. And inside you can see we have uh, some algae going already. That green stuff at the bottom is algae. Chunks of it. This is our uh, thermometer. It's only a dollar more, so why not get the one with a shark? Um, so they're both connected by the center tube, and we sealed it with uh, a potable water seal. And there's one of the filters. And here's the other. And we have this, uh, just the pump is in here, and it's, it's hooked up, and we put it up there. We were running it last night. This was actually full, and uh, we just wanted to make a few adjustments. We noticed some leaks. We just did a wet seal. That's not supposed to be there. Uh, we used that so that we could fill up each tank individually, one at a time. And, uh, yeah, so progress. That's one of the beds up there, and we need to drill a hole in that. But I have about uh, 50 little rosy red minnows that we're going to put in here. I got an extra 40 last night. So the way this filter works is water comes in from both of the totes and comes out through this pipe here. And there's going to be uh, a bit of a bucket around going down into here around this pipe to uh, make the uh, solids go down into the bucket and we have a little drain down here so we can drain out the solids Then it goes down into here which leads into the second bucket which goes down into there and then there's two filter pads uh, what we used uh, I forgot I'll read it in the uh, in the video and then uh, we have sand underneath both those plus we have this uh, pump and this is just going to circulate the water for a while until we get the beds going. But I plan to use that black tubing to go up above the chicken coop. And we have some plastic up there uh, that would probably be really good. So I'm going to coil it and hopefully it'll heat the water. And it'll dump back into uh, one of these beds up here. And heat the water as it goes. So that's our plan currently. We have to wait though because uh, we put this caulking on yesterday, but for some reason it just it didn't dry. It's gonna be a while, maybe tomorrow, and uh, then we'll release the minnows in here and hopefully get the bacteria started. So we are starting to fill up the tanks again with the hose, and as soon as this gets into there, it'll equalize this one. The water will come out of here, into the filter, and back into the tubes, and I'll, I'll take that off. Okay, so as you can see, water's coming out on both ends. It's coming out faster on that side. I'll see if I can fix that in a way. This is only temporary again. And then I've just been fiddling with the speed of the pump with that nozzle and uh, I figured that filling up this is better than draining it too quickly because um, this will, even though this shuts off if it gets too low I don't want to have to put the pump through that I don't necessarily trust it and also uh, it's just gonna as long as it can cycle at the same rate the pump is pumping it and we're getting enough oxygen into the water I think we're gonna be okay Water's looking pretty green. I hope this filter can help solve some of that. Okay, so you guys remember this? Yeah, it got really green. The algae just totally kicked off with how much heat there's been and how much light. Uh, so I've been draining this water so I can catch all the fish and move them into the tanks. So now you see that I have started I have started acclimating the little rosy red minnows in the bag 
uh, first step is to just, I, I clipped it under the metal bar, left it open so there's still some oxygen, and I'm going to let them sit there 15, 20 minutes to get acclimated to the water temperature, and I'll slowly start adding water into the bag from the tank so they can get used to whatever changes are in the water. So as the fish adjust to the water, I have taken the sponges from that other filter. I'm not sure if you saw that I had in my previous video of the original fish tank. Um, these sponges were filtering, so I assume that they'd been in there for a few months, so they probably have a ton of bacteria on them. And what I did was I just, there's about four of them, and I just squished them around, squeezed them like this, flushed it all out, and then hopefully it'll go down into that tube. The bacteria will start to culture in there. And then I just took another sponge, because that one sank, and I put that one in on top of the filter material so that hopefully there's some contact and uh, hopefully it'll transfer some of the bacteria. Okay, so now you can see just how clear the water is uh, from me dumping the, the old water out and slowly changing in the new and so it looks like they're finally adjusted and we're gonna release them into the tanks. go. So I just turned off the pump because I wasn't sure if you can hear things or not, but those two look like loners. They're closer to the surface. They are they might be sick. I don't know. They could be wanting more air or they could just be making their own. Oh, okay. So it looks like they are just getting the bugs off the top. And... The other ones, and oh, they were right there a couple seconds ago. They are swimming around down there like a school of fish, all together and huddled, and they're sticking together. I should also mention that um, I did put some plants in there from the old tank. There's some more floating over there. Focus there. And yeah, so those might grow more okay, plants. Guys, well that's my video. Thanks for watching. Uh, next time I upload a video I'll probably be putting in the new garden beds up on top of the aquaponics system and maybe showing you how some of the plumbing works. Thanks. Bye.